party. Ten minutes. Yeah, I know. I'm looking over the results right now. I'm just gonna have to keep trying. Sounds good. Night. Chemical alarm and holding cell B. I'm gonna activate Benny measures now. Shit. I need backup at Chemical Safe B, Chemical Safe Baker, ASAP. Let's go. Oh! 
Omex what? 365. It's an acidic liquid gel based non-conductive. But if it's mixed with the correct explosives, it becomes gaseous and highly lethal. You mean like a uh, white peak, huh? Worse. Imagine sulfuric acid completely burning your skin. And then just for kicks, it enters your respiratory system and eats you from the inside out in a matter of seconds. Jesus Christ, why the hell didn't anybody tell me about this stuff? Because Rowan, I was told to keep it under wraps. From me? Still no word from Washington, sir. What about Colonel Stevens? Stevens and his wife were found dead at their home. These bastards cut oh, yeah. out of the Colonel's eyes with the rebel skin. Jesus Christ. Any usable prints? No, nothing. The place is clean. Well, check out our stiffs, too. Who the hell we're dealing with here? Yes, sir. You know, you look like. Why don't you go on home? Huh? But if I hear anything at all, I'm gonna have to call you. So be prepared. Thanks, Ron. Say hello to Michelle. Will do. You don't have to give up. I'm just saying, you can't save everyone. Honey, I know that. Why don't we just move to Alaska? <laughs> That's a good place to raise kids. We talked about this once before. And you know as well as I do that we only have enough time for ourselves, let alone having kids. Huh? Mm. I know, but... Someday, you and me will have a family. Just not now. Right. Just not right now. Okay. Then prove it. My team recovered Bromix from Hussein's labs months before the war even began. Lucky for us, they didn't even know what it was. So a full-scale invasion was a perfect cover for further investigations? Correct. Did you lose any of your team members? Yeah, six died from the Bromex before we knew what it was. And I was chosen to head up the reconnaissance missions because of my direct experience. Dr. Harding, your wife is here. Oh, go ahead, we can That's some pretty serious shit. We don't know the half of it. Rick led four covert operations into various Iraqi labs and almost single-handedly destroyed all evidence that this stuff even existed. Excuse me. Honey, you all right? Yeah, just, um... There's something I wanted to tell you. Honey, can't wait. I'm right in the middle of something right well, now. Can we take a quick walk? Honey, I'll walk with you all, all you want tonight, but right now... Rick, um... Rick, we got a lead on your Bromex. Let's go. Where? Pier 27. Come on! Oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, I'm interviewing the vice president on a flight to Washington tonight. I'll call you later. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay, oh. wait. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Go. It's okay. Two weeks ago, the DEA busted this guy in Long Beach. Cocaine. So he made a deal. But we don't know if this shipment's Bromex, right? <laughs> exactly. This is Unit 2. We're moving into position.
Where have you been? You were supposed to meet me half an hour. Wait, 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 where's Martinez? He's not here. Oh, freaking great. I'm the goddamn network representative on the most important interview of my life, and we don't have a cameraman. Did you call the station? Relax, Hertzberg. He will be here. I trust him. Yeah, well, if I don't have a camera here very soon, someone is going to lose their job. Why don't you go into the bathroom and fix your hair or your makeup or whatever? All right. What's the matter? Do I look good? Oh. open the door for more trade with China? Well, you can be sure that when we arrive back in Washington, it is something we'll be discussing with the president. Mr. President, where do you stand? How do you feel that will affect the current relationship with Japan? Ah, well, let me just say that when Prime Minister Nakajima is in Washington next week, we'll be certainly discussing that as well, and I think we'll arrive at an amicable understanding so that all countries will be benefited. Are you willing to start boarding, sir? I'm sorry. As you can see, I've just been told it's time to go. Thank you all very much. Miss Harding, Stephen Finch, your new cameraman. What happened to Martinez? Had a family emergency, so the station sent me. I'm new. Well, um, okay. Uh, Bill, let's go. Oh, thank Christ. Miss Harding, is your crew set? Yeah. We had to replace our cameraman unexpectedly. I hope that won't be a problem. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, I'll just have to take a look at his camera before he boards. Sure. Yeah. I trust the rest of my equipment made it on board. the problem is. Okay, Sir, sir, was all that was available in such a short notice? There's more taxpayers' money down the drain. And then we're meeting with the president. I'm meeting for dinner, and you have the press conference tomorrow morning at 6.30. Okay, are we dinner with him tonight? Yes, sir. What time is that? 8 o'clock sharp. This is Phil Hertzberg with Vice President Charles Baker. This is a conversation with Phil and Chuck. Good. Oh, better believe it. Baker, this, this is a conversation with Phil Chuck. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, Bob Goulet. Don't screw up. So, this is Phil Hertzberg. My good buddy, Chuck Baker.
It's a bit probing, isn't it? Miss Harding, you can set up your crew in about ten minutes. That's fine, thank you. It's Emmy time. <laughs> Contact with 232. Negative. All radio transmissions are being jammed to and from the plane. We are not able to contact them. Great. We have just received word from LAX security. They have discovered a body in Hangar 53. All right, we're on our way. Michelle Harding. How do you do? Fine, thank you. Our cameraman will be in in a minute, but first, if it's all right with you, we'd like to go over the salient points of the interview. Of course. Please, won't you sit down? Hello, sir. I'm Phil Hertzberg. Hi. You got my vote. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, how about a picture? How about a picture? Here we go. Say cheese. There we go. <laughs> uh, please, sit down. Yeah. Thank you. Please. I'll send you a copy. Good. Amy? Yes, sure. sir, of course. I'll sit here. Uh, this will be better. and standing by. Copy. Hold your position away from my signal. My Washington sources tell me that my, my sources, my insides sources tell me that this yes, camera guy. Okay. okay. Okay, good. That's good. Are you all right? Got 
the sound. Wise choice, Mr. Baker. Brian? Autopilot is activated. The plane is now yours, sir. Well done. Set new headings back to Los Angeles airspace. Dino, deactivate the scrambler. It's time to talk. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What you have done over in Asia is impressive. Who are you? And what do you want? Who I am is none of your business. And what I want right now is to make a phone call. So, where do we stand at the moment? All radio transmissions are still being jammed to and from 232. Well, there were three large crates that were shipped and loaded on the 232 from a Brandeis avionics, but uh, our traces have come up with no such order. My guess is there's a bad apple in the Secret Service. What the hell is this Bromex 365? Bromex is concentrated in small gelatin packs. And potentially... Potentially the most destructive element ever created. Christ. Is there any kind of antidote? Yes, sir. A thousand milligrams of adrenaline to the back of the neck. Victims only have 15 seconds to administer the shot. sound all scared and distressed. I'm sure you are aware of United States policy in dealing with terrorists. Oh, very. Mira. Get back in your seat. Now! Please don't make this any more stressful than it needs to be. Yeah, Martin here. Oh, there's something I gotta tell you. About what? We're getting a transmission from 232. Put it through. This is FBI Director Copart. To whom am I speaking? My name is Carlos Gruber, and I have seized control of Flight 232. Please say hello to one of our distinguished passengers. This is Vice President Baker. And yes, our flight has been hijacked. Our demands are simple. Paul Azrat has been held against his will for five years by your government. Take him to LA International Airport, where we will pick him up and return him to his home country. For his pain and wrongful persecution, you will transfer $100 million through a network of accounts that I will designate later. We are heading back to Los Angeles now. 
I have loaded Bromex 365 and C4 onto this plane. If you do not comply with my demands, I will detonate this plane over the city. I'm sure you know what the effects of that will be. You have four hours to release Asrat and an additional half hour to transfer the money. Who is Carlos Gruber? Carlos Gruber's been on the UN's most wanted list for 10 years. Supposedly, he's handled over 20 acts of terrorism in 10 different countries. What do you mean, supposedly? Well, normally he's a ghost. He has no political allegiances, and he never takes credit for his work. He didn't seem too shy about taking credit for this. That's exactly what scares me. Who is this Azrat? Paul Azrat was put away on charges of chemical weapons misconduct by the UN just before the Gulf War started. And we just happen to be the host country for this guy. Agent Harding, in your opinion, what would the effect be of that plane exploding in Los Angeles? Well, sir, 120 gels were stolen last night. If properly used, that amount of Bromex could wipe out every living organism in the 200-mile radius. I'll brief the president. In the meantime, I want a full security blackout. Ron, assemble your best anti-terrorist unit. And get me the probability of success for a plane-to-plane -plane transfer. I've got just a team for it, sir. Scramble a squadron of F-16s out of Edwards. Let's send these assholes a message. Los Angeles airspace now, sir. Very good. Set up our holding pattern, 28,000 feet. 28,000 feet, copy. I don't like having all these hostages. It's too risky. Can I get rid of some? Patience. Rowan, you gotta let me be a part of that team. I know more about Bromex than any of those guys. I don't know. It's... Well, you don't think I can hold my own? Hey, no one says you're not qualified. Now, if anything, you're overqualified, but it's not my call. Things are different now. But you just better make it your call. Michelle's on that plane. What? She's part of the press team that went to Washington with the vice president. Oh, Jesus Christ. Personal involvement is the worst thing that could happen to a success of a mission. But don't you think I know that? You gotta get me on that plane, Rowan. You gotta. ETA target intercept in 35 minutes. Red Squadron, tighten up formation. Switch ITS transponder to 5854. Hold standard formation and wait for my signal upon target acquisition. Roger that, right later. under pressure. Of course, this had to happen on my interview. Now all I'll be remembered for is my horrific death at the hands of terrorists. And what do you want to bet he's not really a cameraman? <laughs> what are you doing? I need that. Hey, pretty boy. Me? You're the only pretty boy here. Shut your mouth. That's a good idea. Yes. Good. 
Culprit, I know you've been here before. And I think we're gonna have to go with your plan, even if it is highly unorthodox. Yeah. Well, as you know, our options are extremely limited. We've got to exhaust every possibility. And I do not want to be forced to submit. Very well, Mr. President. We will proceed as explained. All right, gentlemen. Good luck. Godspeed. The President has given Operation Intercept the go. Our options are limited, so we have to exhaust every one of them before we're forced to submit. We have just over three and a half hours. Our primary objective is to eliminate the Bromex threat. Then we have room to negotiate. A special forces team, including our chemical weapons man, Rick Harding, is assembling and preparing to scramble. Our newly modified SR-71 transporter will fly them in undetected. Once on board, they'll have approximately two hours to defuse the bomb and neutralize the situation. We know who you are. I'm Captain Ratner. This is Lieutenant Wells. Nice to meet you. Be a pleasure working for you. I wish I could say the same. There's a problem? Yeah, there is. You've got no business being on this mission. What makes you so sure of that? Ernie, what elementary school did I go to? St. Agnes of the Cross. First grade teacher was Sister Mary Ann Margaret. Favorite color is blue. And he likes the cereal without the milk. Take a look at us, Dr. Hardy. We're a team. We were trained to work together, to know everything there is to know about one another. So when it comes down to it, there'll be no guessing, just instincts. Now you're thrown into the mix and I don't know shit about you, except I'm responsible to make sure you don't fuck this mission up. Maybe I can't do nothing about you being here, but don't expect me to pretend like I'm happy about it. Look, Radner. Take off clearance. Freedom 2, you are cleared for takeoff. Proceed to waypoint 1, heading 249. 
Contact closing at Angels 235. Two minutes to intercept. Switching to SST track mode. Visual contact on the spike. Red group approach pattern Delta. Red 3 and 4 move into position. Roger, Red Leader. You've got company. F-16s. Standard formation. That's all right. Patch me through. Roger, switching to COM 1, 118.5. And switch to 128.3. Roger that. 232, land your plane at once by order of the United States. They're ordering States us to land, sir. We'll land soon enough. Pick one. Come on, sweetie. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, no. wait. No. Just, just take me. What are you doing? Take me, for God's sake. Very heroic, Mr. Vice President, but I need you. Listen up. Once we're in position, Ernie's gonna neutralize the bomb. We're gonna smoke them and take them out one by one. Any questions? 232, incoming transmission. Transmission coming in on 232. Mr. Colpart, I notice you have sent us a little party. You Americans have much to learn. This is not the way to handle terrorist activity. Amy, you are going to tell them all to go away, or I'm going to start killing passengers. You. Do it. Do it. They're going to start killing people if you don't pull back the fighters. Hold their positions. Don't go anywhere, not just yet. Red 3 and 4, let's turn up the heat. Roger 1, let's do it. I'm on it. I repeat, our captors will start killing people if you don't pull back the fighters. Christ, what are they doing? Why haven't they called them off? They're calling his bluff. They're not responding. No. Okay. Let's see if they respond to this. Fuck oh. ah! yeah. Hello. Anybody there? You need a new press secretary. Tell them to get out of here or you'll be next. Call them off for God's sakes. Do as they say. Please. Michelle. Michelle? Yeah, my wife. Call him off, please. Damn it. Disengage the fighters. Red leader to red group. Break off. I repeat, break off. Roger, breaking off. They're pulling back. 
They're pulling back. They're pulling back. Wise decision. Please don't make me do that again. Your time is running out. Freedom 2, we have our WS radar contact closing at 240. Roger, Freedom 2, turn right heading 201. No one told me your wife was going to be on that plane. That's because no one needed to know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I knew you'd screw up this operation somehow. Look, Raven, you may not like me. But don't think for one second I'm not prepared to do my job. I was commanding missions while you were learning your ABCs. So why don't you just shut up and start acting like a leader? How long to intercept? Five minutes. Uh, Gruber, can I get someone up here for a dead pilot removal, please? Dina? Yeah. Oops. Good morning, this is good. Yes. God's name are you doing? You never understand, sir. Put the gun down, Lisa. I won't Lisa. do it, Haynes. Drop it, Lisa. No. Drop the goddamn no. gun, Lisa. Lisa, put the gun down. I'm gonna have to shoot you. Put it down. Put it down. Thank you very much, Mr. Haynes. Mira, kill this woman. No, Gruber, no more killing! You're in no position to demand anything, Mr. Haynes. Are we clear? of adrenaline. You're crazy if you think I'm going to stick myself with that thing. This is nothing compared to what Blomex will do to you. Freedom 2, continue at 238, CCIP at 4827. Three minutes to transfer. All right, listen, gear up. I want this thing smooth and by the numbers. I'll go first, remove the lower hatch, and secure the bay. Nixon, you got the rear.
sight. We'll smooth that when we get into the slip. A little closer. Everything all right? Everything looks okay here, sir. Lock down the fresh fry. It's time to go to work. hold has stabilized. Got an hour and 43 minutes. Maybe we should get going. We should move. They gotta know we're on board. Let's go. Honey, how you doing?
everything normal, Carl. Parting you with me, let's set up for surveillance. Regardless of what he says, please take your time. Oh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Gruber, I, I've been waiting for the appropriate moment to apologize for that very unfortunate poking incident. Is there a point to this? Yes, 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 there's a point. You see, the media can be your best friend if, if you let it, you see. And we all have to be concerned with our public image, right? You know, reporters are the only people I know who gain fame and fortune off of the deeds and misfortunes of others. Why are you working that angle for personal greatness? Right. I despise you and your profession. I couldn't agree with you more. Shut your mouth. You are unbelievable. I know you're busy. I'll just... Woman. I could have you spared, you know. Could you get me another can? Please. two in the cockpit doesn't look like it's gonna be easy is it ever yeah. um child this isn't diet I really prefer diet that's all that's left kidding what kind of plane is this why don't we switch? Can't. Am 
Why is that? Because yours has caffeine, and Phil is caffeine sensitive. Aren't you, Phil? Yes, I know. It makes me edgy. I think you'll survive. Fine. Suit yourself. Bottoms up. Don't drink that! My team, my equipment never made it on board. We're on our own, man. Okay, fine. Phase two. Phase two. You don't got a phase two. I don't have a phase two. Rat, you got a problem. I think you better get back here now. We're on our way. Any word from our team? Damn. Possible they might not be alive or already captured. We have to wait just a little longer, sir. I'll give him 20 more minutes. This thing's rigged to a remote detonator, probably controlled by our friend Gruber. He can blow this at any time. We gotta get that controller, man. Can you defuse it? Well, you see these? Those are electronic sensors. If disturbed, they send a signal to the remote detonator that the device is being tampered with. These guys didn't miss a beat. I can defuse it, but it's going to take some time. Well, we got exactly one hour and three minutes, so you better start working on it. In the meantime, we gotta get some way to signal command. Wait a minute. Is there any way you can tap into the plane itself? Well, and we're just gonna have to give your boys a little more time up there. We'll create the illusion that we're going to free Asrat. And maybe you can bait Gruber along, let him talk to Asrat on the phone before the deadline. Very well, sir. All right, do whatever you have to do, but keep me posted. Take him to the airport. Below and check out cargo. I don't trust the blue I think he might fall. If he gives any trouble, waste him. Let's go. Mr. Briar, take altitude down 18,000. Roger, descending to 18,000 feet. Slicing through here and create some kind of transmitter. We're patching in here, and we'll send our feet right through to the cockpit. Well, then, where would you patch in? Close it up. Ready? We got company. Oh, God. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, 
Secret Service. And I'm the tooth fairy. Check my ID. Check it. Hell, anyone can make one of those. If you're such a good guy, what are you doing chumming it up with a bad guy? They're holding my family hostage. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill them. Well, that's too far. Right. That's true. Hold it. I believe him. Well, I don't. And I do. This guy's a fucking traitor. Rat. Tell me everything you know about the terrorist. Who am I speaking to? Commander Radner, sir. Over. What's the situation? Five terrorists, three hostages have already been killed, and four remain, including the vice president. All pilots have been killed. They control the plane. Over. But what's the status of the brew mix? Agent Wells is on it, sir. Says he could dismantle the bomb. We need more time, sir. Mr. Gruber. I want to talk to you for a minute. Talk all you want. If you land this plane and let everyone go, I'll negotiate for you directly with the president. And here I thought the U.S. never negotiated with terrorists. Or is this a new campaign platform? You have no need to hold anyone but me. Don't confuse courage with arrogance. You might get hurt. Gruba. Everything is secure. Very good. It's almost time. Mr. Gruber, sit down, Mr. Baker. I'll let you know if we need you. Let that ray will never dismantle this thing. I'm working as fast as I can. Well, it ain't good enough. Please, off. You know, I think it's time to see whether you're really as bad as you think you are. Mr. Colpart, according to my watch, we are due to speak with my recently pardoned friend. He's at the airport now. We'll patch you through. I must admit, Agent Colpart, I'm pleasantly surprised at the swiftness of your actions. I only hope for the sake of our passengers, the transfers will not be delayed. Well, coming up with a hundred million dollars, that's not something that can be done with a phone call. We need more time. You have the time I gave you. No more, no less. Sir, the President. This is Rowan. Put him on.
Get on it. Hello? Uh, I don't understand it. Won't the fallout from the explosion have the same effect? Our sources tell us that if the plane is destroyed at an altitude of above 10,000 feet, we can safely assume Los Angeles would be spared. We'll have to wait to the last moment. But we have to be ready. It's your call, sir. You keep your boys up there as long as you can. But if that plane falls below 10,000 feet, I think we all know what has to happen. Just keep me apprised. Yes, sir. Scramble a squadron out of Nellis. Fully loaded. Are you there? Go check on him. What's going on? One of them is missing. Ross. Broken. Dino, grab the reporter. Ooh. Actually, very comfortable. Nick, don't mind. I prefer to stay here. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll break. Don't mind. I prefer to stay here. Okay. Oh, press credentials. Attention, all passengers. This is a message to our uninvited guests who have rudely eliminated one of my men. I feel at this time we met face to face, so if you would be so kind as to join me and the rest of the passengers in the upper passenger area, I would appreciate it. If you fail to show yourself by the time I count to ten, Mira here will kill this man.
that plane to drop below 10,000 feet. Deactivate. Uh. Ah! 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 
continuing its descent. 10,800 and falling. A warning shot. Roger control going to guns. I'll lay a pattern right across the bow. They'll get the message. I repeat, 232. Two. Do not fire. Over. Roger, 232. Two. Do you have control of the aircraft? Over. Yes. We have control of the plane. Situation is under control. All terrorists are dead. Over. Roger that, 232. Two. Over. Disengage the fighters. Evacuate the surrounding areas of LAX. Tell them to keep the runway clear until that plane comes to a full stop. Red leader to red group. Disengage target. I repeat, disengage target. Form up and turn left heading 187. Roger, 187. You have a visual of the runway? Right. Yes. Rick, you gotta pull back the accelerator. Switch the flaps to number two position. Right. The flaps. Sergeant, where's the flaps? Above you, panel right. four. Four of them? That's it. Advance to number two position. Right. Altitude is 800 Here. feet, and we're Here. moving too fast. We're moving Here. too fast. Here. Tell everyone to brace for landing. Everyone down! What the hell?
worms. They made it. <laughs> You're all right. Uh, sure. A lot of bad days work. Pleasure flying with you. <laughs> Actually, there was no time for fear. The lives of the other terrified passengers were all at stake, and not to mention the Vice President of the United States. In fact, in one particularly harrowing moment, Charlie looked at me, I'm sorry, the Vice President looked at me in apparent awe of my actions, and he was shaking his head, and he said, and I quote, you are unbelievable, end quote. Agent Harding. Vice President Baker. Mr. Vice President, I want to take this moment to personally thank you. The country is very, very grateful to you and your colleagues. You are truly fine Americans. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Your wife did a great job as well. Thank you. All the best. We are going to Alaska. Okay. <laughs> You came by the office, you had something to say. And I was too busy. What was it? I'm pregnant. Ha, ha, ha. 